this right here is one of the cheapest RX 5700 XT that you can buy from AliExpress right now for $115. Now we're going to test this card out in multiple competitive games which include these guys right here. And to spice things up, might as well include this card as well. Compare it to NVIDIA's RTX 4060, the latest 60 series card for $300. Now, before we proceed, why don't you hit that like button and let's go. Let's both have a quick look at the specs of these cards. They both have 8GB of VRAM, different architectures obviously. However, the main difference here is that the RX 5700 XT is actually 4 years old now as compared to the RTX 4060 which was just released this year and is actually more expensive at $299 as compared to our Soyo card which is only $115. But hey, let's see how the RX 5700 XT plays on our games. Let's start with Warzone or Sixtan. Now, the good news here is that the RX 5700 XT can run at generally high average FPS. However, it's not very smooth. You'll notice some stuttering in here. There are some frame time spikes, which is really critical when you're trying to hit those shots. Now, you are getting really high average FPS, but the 1% lows are really bad. Initially, we thought that this was probably because Warzone being Warzone again, but no, we have run the card for a long time and we are still getting consistent results and i think this is because we have really pushed the card to the point that it's maxed out at 99 percent and we even thought that this may be because of the card's temperature so we tried ramping up the fan speeds but the results remain the same we even tried cutting down the vram maximum allocation from the default 90 percent to 70 percent in the settings which resulted in a decreased performance when compared to the RTX 4060, we can see that there is a significant difference here. Night and day in the 1% lows, which is about 38% better in favor of the RTX 4060. Average FPS is only a single digit increase, but the difference here is it's just smoother on the RTX 4060. When we tried adding real world upscaling features, we can see the RTX 4060 improves the average FPS by 30% and a whopping 59% percent increase and one percent lows and you can notice this in the frame time chance of course besides raw performance there is a massive difference in terms of power consumption between the two but this is expected because the rx 5700 xt is a much older card compared to the rtx 4060 and before we proceed boys if you're interested on in seeing more of our in-depth hardware testings make sure you subscribe to the channel these competitive shooters tend to change performance very often especially on major game patches okay let's move on to the next game apex legends now this one is actually pretty good you're getting very high average fps and it's a pretty smooth experience while gaming average fps is way above 200 with lows that are really close to that one whether you're going Going through a landscape or even on heavy action scenes it's actually pretty good and pretty smooth in here we're engaging multiple teams with multiple effects and the performance of the soyo rx5700 xt is pretty stable and reliable when compared to the rtx 4060 on heavy action scenes you are expected to get only about 7% more average FPS, however, you are getting 21% better in 1% lows. On stable scenes, the gains does increase a bit as shown here, but is it worth the 160% premium in price? Alright, let's move on to the next one. Moving to Fortnite's Chapter 5. Now, we are running performance mode here and it's actually pretty Decent. We are using the latest AMD drivers 23.12.1 here, which has definitely improved performance mode. We are getting pretty consistent results here around 380 average FPS with lows at around 160 FPS. I would just ignore the 0.1% lows here because that's usually server related or, or anti-cheat related. We do get some frame time spikes here when we are moving using cars and this is generally okay. If you're playing competitive 
comfortably on Fortnite. This is actually a good budget option if you only have about $120 to spend for a graphics card. Let's see how this one goes against the newer and much more expensive RTX 4060. On performance mode, you are expecting an additional 25% gain on both average FPS and 1% low. Is it worth it? Maybe. And funny enough, you can see in here that the RTX 4060, which is supposed to be efficient, actually consumes more power compared to our older RX 5700 XT. Now, if you're curious how these cards fare against the other APIs, so here we have DX11. We are getting about 20% better average FPS in favor of the RTX 4060. Whilst on DX12, you are expecting to get better 1% lows. In this example, we have actually gained 28% better 1% lows. And for those who are curious, this is all three APIs running on our RX 57. 100 XT. Valorant is one of the games that I think is really well optimized. It's mostly smooth when you're gaming, but what I do notice is that you do get these frame time stutters usually early in the game, which does resolve later on. We have a pretty good FPS here with our RX 5700 XT. We are not bottlenecked by the GPU, so our CPU is able to push those frames and this results to roughly 500 or 600 FPS depending on the scenario of course. And for those who are new, we have disabled 1% and put 1% lows on Valorant. And this is because any scenes with UI shift will affect those metrics like Omen's Shadow Realm or when you're in the buy screen that will totally mess up the 0.1% and 1% low metrics. Let's see how our Soyo RX 5700 XT compares against the modern RTX 4060. On the usual run, it's pretty negligible, although 1% lows do favor the RX 5700 XT. Now on heavy action scenes, I see that our $115 card is actually much better compared to the RTX 4060 and I think that's really interesting. PUBG is a DX11 title that uses Unreal Engine 4 which usually favors Nvidia architectures. In here, our RX 5700 XT is okay for the most part. You have high average FPS which is around 200 and 1% lows are actually pretty good as well at around 120 plus FPS. However, because this is PUBG, we do get these frame time spikes randomly which sort of like affects the 0.1% lows. This is fairly normal and this isn't something to do with the hardware but more on the game engine itself. I think it loads assets as you go along and this is pretty obvious when we're in a vehicle moving at really high speeds. However, this is fine. You'll be able to adjust it because PUBG is a slower paced game. When compared to the modern RTX 4060, you can see the U Huge difference here. As mentioned, this is fairly expected. Huge lead in favor of the RTX 4060. When we go to more heavy action seeds, it actually becomes even more evident. Look at that one. That's a whooping over 60% gain versus the RX 5700 XT. Looking at all the games here, you have four out of five competitive shooters that favor the more expensive RTX 4060, which is also surprising that there is a single game where an hour Soyo RX 5700 XT was able to beat the Nvidia card for $115. I think this is a really good value graphics card, especially if you're on a budget. We got ours from Alex Briss and we explored it deeply in this video right here. So if you're curious on that, click that one and we'll see you guys over there. Bruh.